Right then, welcome ladies and gents, we are back with Polybridge 2. It's been years, unfortunately, since I played the first Polybridge, and I've had a lot more years engineering under my belt. <laughs> so uh, we'll see how the first few levels go. It looks like we can play any level we want. So maybe this first video, I'll just do the start, keep it simple, and then I might jump around a bit and in future videos. Any suggestions in the comments, let me know. Let's just keep it simple. What have we got first? So if you've seen this game before, you'll know there's roads and you got to get from point A to point B. So quickly make your road and then as before, simulate. Oh, got physics. But this time we got 3D-ness. This is awesome. So as I explained in the Polybridge 1 video, triangles are the strongest shape and I will show you just a simple bridge, just to get across. So we want to go from here to here, and we just want to use triangles. So, I've made hundreds of little triangles! Let's see how this works. Oh. Oh. I'm quite surprised that doesn't work, actually. I guess it just weighs like a shit ton. Let's uh, just pause it. It's like a wall. It's not a bloody bridge, it's a wall. But yeah, if I unpause, it just doesn't work. Oh. It took me ages. Well, actually, I know why. Do I? No, I don't know why. Alright, so let's just have a... I'm just quite interested now to see if this will work. <laughs> oh, I will get this to work. So when I set out with this, I was, I was kind of hoping mini triangles might take over the world, but um... No, apparently there's a reason we don't use mini triangles everywhere. But it works, so... Screw big triangles. So we're about mini triangles from now on. Alright, so I'm going to recap and go over some of the basics. Just for anyone that wants to know any engineering principles behind things. A triangle is your strongest shape. So as you can see, I've got loose triangles. So you might say, yeah, there's loose triangles. We'll play that, we'll see what happens. Oh, I'm still in a shitty view. Sorry. Alright, so let's run that again. So, fall straight down. Because they're not really attached to anything. So, you need to turn your triangle into a truss. And a truss is just loads of triangles stuck together. Alright, so for this truss, if we want to break it down into forces, we've got gravity, which is acting on the bridge. So, that works along everything. Let's start from the middle. So, gravity is pulling this down. So your force is going down. By making triangles, you're splitting this downward force through your various beams and they'll work their way along and they'll get to your anchor points. So essentially, your gravity is no longer just going straight down, it's being stopped by these two points. This is where all your force will end up. Obviously it travels along the beams, but it ends up at these two ends. So if you press play on this one, you see it actually holds this time. And we've completed the first level. Alright, so obviously if we want to go higher on those leaderboards, we've got to bring our cost down. So the easiest way to do that is to try and make everything a bit smaller. Because this will use far less material than what I just did. Alright, so I've been playing around for a little bit. I've managed to get this one, which is fairly good. I think we're in the top 8,000 or 9,000 people. Um, I'm just thinking I can probably make these four beams a little bit shorter just by lowering that one. So we'll see what that does. Um, so when we press play you can see all the different colours. And down the bottom this shows our percentage of each beam, like how close your worst one is to failing. Oh yeah, so we're at 7,000 now. So if we just go through that again, so if I play that you can see this goes right up to like 90 something, does it tell you at the end? So yeah, that 94.4%, that's basically the efficiency of the worst piece in there, so one of the pieces is almost gonna break. I think for now, top 16%, I'm pretty happy with that. And if you look at these top ones, uh, that's absolutely insane. I have no idea how they're that little. But this little star, it means it has breaks. So it means at least one part of the bridge broke. Alright, so for this one, I'm going to try and keep everything a bit small from the off. Uh, is there a way to turn off the grid? Ah. Okay, so this one, you can turn off the grid, which means 
you can move these anywhere. Oh, that's a bit cool. So I reckon this little Volkswagen van is going to be a bit heavier than the last one. So let's have a look at that then. Oh, 99. Oh, no. Right, so when something breaks, now, I don't know if this had this before, but it shows you what piece broke. So I can see it was that one. So, so rather than doing this curve, I'm going to bring these up and just equal out these a bit, because it was all a bit, well, not very trussy. It's getting a bit curved. I don't want to be labelled as an architect or anything, so. Right, so I reckon that might do it. It's kind of, it's basically a truss, but I've made a little bit smaller in places, so hopefully I'll be somewhere up the leaderboard. That's if we get across. So let's see what happens. Oh, and look at the 3D-ness. Lovely, so we made it. Let's see where we are. First time completing 6,000. Oh, 16% again. So top 16. I will take that. I'm quite happy. Ah, so now we're on to the different materials. Well, not different materials, just steel. Alright, so I just noticed down here we've got two different types of road this time. I think in the last game you just had your normal road and you could reinforce like the edges of it with steel or wood or whatever. Now it seems you can't do that. So if I tried to go from there to there... Oh, you can do that as well. Was that got rid of the road? Ah oh, yeah, that's got rid of the road. Uh -oh. uh. Right, so I think we learned in one of the earlier levels that um, mini triangles aren't the best. So you probably want to go for as big as you can. And I know steel, they allow you to go a lot further. Right, so we could technically do a massive truss. And that would really show my mini triangles who's boss. So after all, this game is essentially battle of the triangles. So we'll try that. Massive truss. And it should be damn strong. Oh crap, I forgot the... <laughs> I'm an idiot. So yeah, that's one of the main things in Polybridge. You need to remember, it's actually a bridge. It's not just a structure. It needs some of that in it. Yeah, so I think essentially the uh, giant triangle dream is also over. I feel if I just sneak some mini triangles underneath. Well, maybe no one will notice. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do. I could go all out big triangles. we are going under there. And then more big triangles. What the hell is going on here? More big underneath triangles. Oh, why? I'm out of budget. No. I'll make these ones a little bit smaller. What is going on with them? Can't even work out what I've built. Oh, so I think if I join them. <laughs> what have I built? Oh, I got no budget. Let's get rid of the bottom. Does the top stick? What have I built? That one doesn't move. Oh, so that's attached to the road. That one doesn't move. They're all attached to the road. What if I do that? I don't know what I've done. But I've gone away from big triangles and I'm not happy with myself. So anyway, this has got one of those boats in it. Oh no. That's not a boat, that's like a, it's like a hydrofoil type thing. That's cool. So anyway, we'll road it all the way to this end. Oh no. Oh no, I can. What? Oh god, what is that? Ah, so annoyingly, there's not quite enough pieces to reach. So what I'm gonna do is put another one in and then just make these all... Alright, so stupidly, I've just realised there's a hydrofoil, as I bloody mentioned a few seconds ago. So I'm gonna have to build over that. Oh, that looks tight. So we'll just do a quick little truss. And you can mix trusses quite easily. So you can go from like an above one to a below one. In this case, that's really useful because we have this pillar here. So that should all be fine. That should all come down there. And then I've just got to make truss up here. And I think as there's a boat going underneath, I'll do my truss on top. Right, so for this way, I'm just trying to Simple truss on top, a little truss underneath to the pier, and then another truss on top for this edge. I am very worried about this bit, because that is going to be tight as anything. So... Oh, there's no headroom. Oh, he made it. Oh, and the monster truck made it. Boom! Absolutely 
Insane. And I'm in the top 8%. First go. Sweet. Um, so 69%, which means something naughty. Uh, which means I've got plenty of room to come back if I want to. I've got 30% I could make that a bit more efficient by. But we'll keep going, we'll keep going. We'll see what other levels we got. Any other mixtures? Yeah, so this one we got a mixture of wood and steel. So we'll probably have to... Oh god, hang on, there's a bit going on here. So A1 ends up at A1 flag. And your A2 vehicle ends up at, ends up at your A2 flag. And then there's stars on the way, which you've got to collect. So for him, I'm going to have to make the bridge go up so we can get the star and down. And this one is going to have to come down, make sure you can get his star, which is A2, and end up at the flag. So... Right, so it makes sense to me to try and combine these together into one structure rather than two separate. Although, actually, think about it, they're a bit far apart, so two separate structures might not be suitable. Alright, so I'm looking at this and my budget is quite high. I'm a bit concerned though, I'm not going to be able to get my force down to this anchor point, so I might have to do down to these ones, which I guess is why they've added these in. So my kind of aim is to keep all these forces almost in a straight line down to your anchor points. Oh hang on, I've done it a bit. Hang on, what's, go what's going on here? So, as I was saying, I'm trying to keep the forces kind of in a straight line to these anchor points. Hopefully, if I've learned anything as an engineer, <laughs> no. Alright, so firstly, let's just see if this holds itself, which I hope it should do. I'm just worried I might need something between these two. But yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, so it holds itself, that's good. Car's over, that's so... Oh! Wow! Maybe I have actually learnt something being an engineer. Oh! Do you see what I notice? 98.8%! So one of those pieces was literally about to burst. Ooh! Cost is pretty sh terrible, if I'm honest. <laughs> Mustn't swear, I'm an engineer. Oh, and I've just noticed over here, you can see other player solutions. So that one looks remarkably like mine. Is that mine? I think that is mine. <laughs> is it? No, it... Uh... Oh no, I think someone came up with a very similar idea. What's this one? So this one's got two trusses. So that's what I was thinking. Like, rather than combining the two, there might not be any need. You could just make two. That's cool. This one... What is going on with that? So has he got a jump at the end? Okay, that's, that's one way of doing it, I guess. Uh, yep, yeah, if it works, it works. 